Prototype 675 went to work, we talked to Dick Shirley, Vice President of Vulcan's Mid-South Division, on the left, and J.B. Lambert, Operations Vice President. This quarry is uh, located about 15 miles south of uh, Nashville, Tennessee, on I-24. Uh, we're crushing stone for I-24 from Nashville to Chattanooga. Our plant uh, uh, is lo located in a limestone formation. We uh, have set up an operation uh, to produce approximately 1,200 tons per hour. We're now operating with uh, two front-end loaders loading into M30 Mack trucks, uh, four of them. We plan to replace the 275 Michigan front-end loader with uh, the 675 to load and carry it to the uh, primary crusher. Uh, eliminating the uh, trucks. We plan to use this with the 475, the 12-yard Michigan, and replace uh, the four hull trucks. Uh, we have approximately a million tons of stone produced here in this site. And switch over they did, eliminating the Michigan 275 tractor shovel and four hull trucks. The 475 and 675 loaded and carried all of the material to keep the entire plant running. The machines get a load of shot rock at the face and then have a level run on the quarry floor of between 210 and 250 feet, depending upon where they get their load. There's a 550-foot haul up a 17% grade to the crusher. The 675 averaged 36 tons per bucket load. of the ramp, the load is quickly dumped into the crusher, and the machine turns to go back down into the quarry. At the time this film was shot, the 675 and 475 together were producing at an overall operating efficiency of 93%. Two machines and two operators equaling the previous production of six machines, two tractor shovels, and four trucks, and six operators. Tractor shovel load and haul applications are inherently highly efficient, since the unit doesn't have to wait for any other machine which may be part of the operation. It just keeps loading, hauling, and dumping. In the average loading out setup, the tractor shovel often waits for an empty truck. and trucks wait for a chance to dump at the Grizzly because they get bunched up. It's the accumulated non-productive time that reduces efficiency and increases per yard costs. The 675 is really big. Nearly 50 feet long, weighs 350,000 pounds, and has an operating capacity of 72,000 pounds. It's built for rock work with a breakout force of 148,000 pounds. 
there are four 10 and a half inch boom cylinders and two 10 and a half inch bucket cylinders to get heaping loads fast. The powertrain consists of two Clark torque converters, a Clark power shift transmission, four speeds forward, four speeds in reverse, and Clark all wheel drive planetary axles. The 675 has a centralized lubrication system programmed to automatically lubricate every moving part except prop shafts. This reduces servicing time. The cab is pressurized with filtered clean air, heated in winter and air conditioned in summer to keep operator efficiency at a high level. It is sound insulated as well. And the operator has good visibility going into the face on the carry part of the cycle and when dumping. The Michigan 675, continuing proof that Clark Equipment Company is alert to the equipment needs of its customers. Clark has the skills, facilities, experience, and imagination to create new concepts in materials handling. 